It's that time again. It's a beautiful spring morning in Michigan, and I have got the itch. The itch to do something stupid. For those of you who are familiar with my videos, you know that is an itch that I often scratch. And today, I'm going to scratch it hard. I don't know why I do the stupid things that I do, but maybe it's so that you don't have to. So I guess all I can say is, you're welcome. Alright guys, I have made it here to the river and just a couple of things real quick. Number one, I forgot my hat mount at home, so I'm wearing my backup shoulder mount. I was lucky I put it in my car before I made this two hour drive, so we are stuck with the shoulder mount, that's okay. Secondly, I'm not sure if this river is even wadeable. It is deeper. I'm not sure if the bottom is thick, soupy mud or if it's going to be something I can stand on, but we're going to give it a try and see what happens. Now, I do have a backup plan if I can't wade in the river, but I really want this to work because there are some bigger fish in here, and I brought my big fish Tinkara rod, the Dragon Tail Hellbender, and some bigger flies, some streamers that we're going to tight line, and hopefully catch something a little bit bigger today on the Tinkara rod. All right, the moment of truth here. Right now I'm standing on some rocks, but when we stand on this bottom, I'm going to learn whether this is going to be possible or not. All right, so far so good. It is going to be a little bit sketchy today, so I did have to remove my normal microphone. So I apologize if the audio quality is a little bit worse, but the dunk risk today is very high. So we want to make sure everything is waterproof. Got my phone in a Ziploc bag and just make sure that we're ready to get dunked if that does happen. I'm also wearing my drift waders today with a safety belt. That way, if I do get dunked, the water can't just rush in and fill up my legs and cause me to drown. I'll be able to clamber out of the water and the water is not 10 feet deep here, but there's going to be spots where it could potentially get up over the top of my wader. So, so we're going to stick near the bank and not take any crazy risks and uh, just see if we can manage to find some fish here. We are going for a home run today, boys. Very well could happen. My first streamer here is this little zonker I tied up. Nice little bait fish imitation. And I'm just going to uh, toss it around, jig it a little bit, tight line it in the current and see if we can get something to come out and bite it. Is that a fish? Oh, oh, I thought I hooked the bottom. Nope. Got our first fish here, guys, right off the bat. That's amazing. I think it's definitely a smolly. Oh, oh, not a bad one either. That's how you want to start it right there. Oh, 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 oh. yes. Oh, oh, the hellbender feels so good, you guys. This is my first fish on the hellbender rod. It's definitely a smolly. Oh my gosh. I just can't believe it happened that quick. I can tell by the way that this feels. Don't get me wrong. I'm feeling every bit of this fight, but we can definitely handle some bigger fish with this rod. This is just amazing. Amazing. Uh, freaking amazing, guys. <laughs> get up here, come on. <laughs> oh, look at the bend in that rod. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's nowhere near done. Nowhere near done. I'm just letting him tire himself out here. <laughs> oh, this is exactly why I came here. Why I continue stepping out of my comfort zone is for fish like this, moments like this. I hope that my shoulder mount is picking this up. <laughs> Make sure it's facing the right way. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh yes. He slammed that streamer and just stopped and I pulled and he just didn't move. I thought for sure I had a log, but no, it's just a nice small mouth. All right, let's get this guy in. Let's try and get him in here. <laughs> oh yes. Come on. You got to be getting tired, brother. Oh, you got to be getting tired. Oh, 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 he saw me. <laughs> he saw me and took off. Yeah, I know. I know. Come on. Still got to land this one. Still got to land him. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Turn. 
There we go. Oh, guys, I mean, look at it. Look at that. That might be a 19 incher. I'm actually going to measure this one, I think. <laughs> Okay, I'm reconsidering because that was kind of a longer fight and I want to get this fish back in, but I'm just holding it up right now next to my rod just so I can go and measure later. But that is every bit of 19, you guys. First smallie of the day, a 19 inch tank. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's get this beautiful fish back in the river here. No, it swam into my net. Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I'll just revive the fish for a minute. No, nah, she's ready to go. Let's let her, let's let her out of the net. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's my PB smallmouth on the Tinkara rod. And I can't believe it happened pretty much immediately. That was my second cast, I think. Here's that little streamer, guys. Still in great shape. We're going to throw her back in there. See if we can get another one. I still can't believe how amazing that felt. <laughs> oh, that's wild. I was just about to say before I started that when I come to this place, I expect less bites, but typically when you do get a bite, it's something big. Now let's be very cautious here and see if we can move around without putting ourselves in danger. The bottom is solid, but it is deep. And in places, the current gets a bit stronger, but I've caught some giants under this tree and under this bridge. I need to get within range. Just heard something big jump down that way. So here in a minute, we might have to uh, pick up the pace and start getting down in that direction. Sounded like a big fish. One step at a time, just seeing if I can make it closer to that side. We might be able to make it all the way across here. I'm past the halfway mark. This is some sketchy stuff, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Got one. Oh, it's swimming right at me. What is that? What is it? I think this might be a pike, you guys. I think it might be a small pike. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, it keeps swimming right at me. <laughs> it's not a big fish. It's definitely a pike, definitely a pike. Don't break me off, buddy. Don't break me off. <laughs> nice! Second pike on the Tinkara. <laughs> That's too cool. I'm real close to the shallows over here where I can uh, use my forceps, get this guy unhooked and back in the water. But check that out, you guys. Pike on the Tinkara. Second time. There we go. All right, guys, another Tinkara pike. Nice, tiny one. Nice and healthy, though. Back into the river. There are potentially pike in here over 30 and even over 40 inches, so they can get a lot bigger than that one, but that's still awesome. All right, it's not too bad, but this guy definitely roughed up my line here, so I'm gonna go ahead and retie. Always check your leader every time you catch a pike. It doesn't matter if you don't think it was in his mouth completely or if it was just a small pike. If there's even a little nick in that line and you hook another pike or a bigger pike, you're gonna lose it pretty much no matter what. Learn from uh, my past mistakes and always retie. All right, guys, I retied. I decided to go ahead and switch to a white streamer. This is the same pattern, but just with white colors. And white has always been productive in this stretch of the river, so I'm gonna throw this on and see if we can get something else.
Got one. Got one. What is that? Oh, feels like a pretty decent fish here, guys. It's swimming right at me. Oh, it's going real fast. I think we might have another pike. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, 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 oh. gotta watch the bridge. Gotta watch the bridge. Change my angle a little bit here. If it is a pike, oh, we don't want the fight to go on forever. The longer it goes, the more likely he is to break us off. That's gotta be a pike. It's gotta be a pike. It is, it's a pike. It's a little bit better one. Oh, I'm gonna start making my way toward the bank here. Oh. Just a little bit better, not a giant, but a strong one. I might be able to hand line him for the rest of the way once I get him close enough. Come on, don't break me off, bud. I think we hooked him just right, you guys. I'm gonna land him right here. I'm gonna land him right here. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Such a fun fight on the Tinkara rod. Come on, buddy. Come on, give up, give up, give up. There we go. <laughs> He's still a fun size one, so we were able to use the net. I also think that uh, he didn't get my line in his mouth at all, which is great. Hook came out nice and easy. All right, guys, pike number two on the Tinkara rod. Amazing fight. Getting a little bit bigger in size. Hopefully we find a, a bigger one and hopefully it doesn't break us off when we do. All right, guys, I did some bridge hopping. I went to three or four more bridges and just didn't find any fish. It is now a completely different day. I am back at the bridge where we caught them last time, but there are some differences. For starters, I'm not wearing any waders. I'm going to be wet wading today because the water here is just a little bit too deep to be wearing waders. I've also got a bigger landing net with me because I'm gonna start out here targeting bigger pike. I have caught them here at this bridge before, so I've brought a couple of bigger streamers with me, and I'm gonna see if we can land one here today on the Tinkara rod. I'm gonna be starting out here with Mason's Kingpin. This is a nice fire tiger streamer. I also have a Gallops Sex Dungeon in white, which I'm pretty confident in that one, just based on how it looks. And I also have a variety of Zonker streamers that I tied up myself, which have been working out well for me. All right, here we go. I'm wearing neoprene socks and my River Ops Boa boots just to protect my feet from sharp objects and hooks and anything that might be down here on the bottom. Oh, the water is cold, boys. The water is so cold. I also have this fear that something is going to either swim into or bite off my penis because I watch way too much River Monsters. This is so cold. Oh. All right, don't be a bitch, come on. All right, got our streamer wet now. Let's get over here where we can cast it under the bridge. Whew. So cold. So cold. Ah. The current is not very fast in here. So I have to apply some of my own action to these streamers. Oh, got one. Oh, no, no. Oh, I just had one. Oh, it's getting real deep here. Oh, so cold, you guys, so cold. Oh, it's not like ice bath level cold, but it's like super tiny wiener cold. Got one, got one. What is that? I think it might be a bass, but I can't tell. A bass or a small pike? Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Hopefully this is something we can net in the small net because I'm pretty far away from my big landing net. Doesn't feel very big. 
Oh, yeah. Try to turn them around this way. Get this fish away from these laydowns near the bank. Yes. <laughs> Already glad I came back, guys. <laughs> oh, yes. What do we got here? There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just another decent pike here. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make our way back to get my forceps. I just realized I didn't have them around my neck. <laughs> We're going to get those and I'll keep our buddy in the water as I move here just to make sure that this fish is totally fine by the time we get it unhooked. That was such a good fight though. I'm really excited for the first time that we hook up with a 30 plus incher. I think it's gonna be an absolute blast. All right guys, got her unhooked. I don't know, about a 23, 24 incher. Definitely not a big one, but uh, still a pretty decent fight on the Hellbender. I know it can handle bigger ones though. So we're gonna keep marching along and see if we can get something bigger. I'm gonna revive this fish just a little bit. As soon as it's ready to go, it'll kick off. There we go. Nice healthy release. All right guys, I was just checking my leader and as you can see, we got a little bit frayed up there. Definitely gonna go ahead and retie and then we'll get right back out there. All right guys, got my forceps in my pocket and I'm switching over to Kelly Gallup's Sex Dungeon. And I know that this is gonna catch fish just because of how it looks. It's a beautiful streamer. I did not tie it myself, but I'm gonna have to learn how to tie these up because this just looks amazing. Cold, cold water. Cold water. Ooh. What? Oh no, 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 no. What was that? What was that? My Tinkara rod just exploded. Holy sh. I don't know if I hit the bridge. I didn't think I hit it. Set the hook on a pike and my rod just absolutely exploded. <laughs> I mean, that sucks. 